Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on iterative binary search algorithm in design and analysis of algorithms. Iter binary search is two types. One is a recursive binary search algorithm. Second one is iterative binary search algorithm. In the previous video, we have already discussed about uh, a recursive binary search algorithm. In, the, in this video, we have to discuss about iterative binary search algorithm. In the case of iterative binary search algorithm, the first element can be taken as low value last element can be taken as high value so therefore low is equal to 0 high is equal to n minus 1 so we can take an array with the indexes low value and high value low value points to first element of the array that is 0 high value points to the last element of the array that is n minus now, while low less than or equal to high, so 0 less than or equal to n minus 1, we have to divide the given list by using the mid value. So, suppose our key element is equal to the mid value, so then we can get the desired key element of the position. If the key element is less than mid value, our key element is present in the left sublist. If key element is greater than mid value, our key element is present in the left sub, right sublist. Okay. In each and every case, we have to search either left sublist or a right sublist. Okay. So, we can say that binary search is an efficient searching algorithm compared to the linear search algorithm. In the case of linear search, we have to search all the elements for whether the key element is present in the list or not. But in the case of binary search, at a time we have to search either left sublist or right sublist. Okay, so we can we can say that uh, binary search algorithm is an efficient algorithm. This algorithm has the time complexity best case big O of one, worst case and average case big O of log n. Best case occurs our key element is present at the middle position. So then the best case occurs at the time complexity is big O of 1. And the average case and the worst case the time complexity is big O of log n. But only the disadvantage of binary search is the elements in the array should be in sorted order that is ascending order that is the only disadvantage if the given array is a random array then we have to use linear search if the given array all the elements in the ascending order then we have to use binary search for searching the desired key element among the n elements in the array Okay, so whatever we have discussed, so that are present in the program. That is algorithm. Algorithm name iterative B search. Iterative B search. What are the parameters we have to pass? We can take an array A. 
we have to search our key element in the array. Array has two indexes, one is the low and another one is high. So these are the four parameters we have passed to the algorithm. Here A of low colon high are the two indexes of an array. Key element is the desired element you want to search. Desired element. You want to search to search. So press begin. Initially, low value is points to the first element of an array. First element of an array is zero. Low points to the first element of an array. High points to last element of an array. Last element of an array points to that is uh, n minus 1. Okay. Next, y low less than or equal to high. Brace begin. Now we have to find out mid value. So mid is equal to low plus high by 2 low plus high by 2 semicolon if key is equal to is equal to a of mid so then return mid value Written value. Our key element is found at the middle value, then written mid. Else, if key less than a of mid, so then high is equal to mid minus one i is equal to mid minus 1. Else, if key greater than a of mid value, then low is equal to mid plus 1. Else, Written zero. This is y equals and this is main equals. So this is the given iterative binary search algorithm. This algorithm can take four parameters. A is an array. Key element is what is the element you want to search whether it is found in the list or not and the low and high are the two indexes of an array so press begin low low always points to the first element first element index of the array that is zero high points to the last element index of an array that is n minus 1 while low less than or equal to high okay whenever low less than or equal to high do mid equal to low plus high by 2 now we have to find out the middle middle value by using this mid value 
we have to partition the given list into two sub lists. If key equal to equal to A of mid, suppose our key element is equal to the mid value, so then directly return mid value. So our key element is found at the middle position of the array. Suppose if the key element is less than middle value A of mid, so then so high is equal to mid minus 1. That is, our key element is present in the left sublist. Suppose if the key is greater than middle value, so now our key element is present in the right sublist. Suppose our key element is not found in the list, so then it returns the value 0. So now consider one example. Suppose we can take the elements, so that is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and 80. So there are 8 elements of an array. Okay, the indexes are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are 8 elements in the array starting with 0 and ending with n minus 1. That is 8 minus 1, that is 7. So that is a of 8. Our key element is key element is equal to 16. Okay. So here low is equal to 0, high is equal to n minus 1, that is 8 minus 1, that is 7. Okay, while low less than or equal to high, 0 less than or equal to 7, that is true. So then we have to find out the mid value. So mid is equal to low plus i by 2. So that is 0 plus 7 by 2. So that is 3. Okay. So mid value is equal to a of 3. a of 3 that is equal to 40. Now our middle, our key element is compared with the mid value. So key element is key element is compared with compared with mid value. So that is 60 is compared with uh, 60 equal to equal to 40. So that is false. 60 equal to equal to that is false. Next if next else if 60 less than 40. So this is also false. Next go to this one else if 60 greater than 40. So that is true. So then what is the what is the low value? So low is equal to mid plus 1. So mid plus 1 is mid value is 3. 3 plus 1 that is 4. So low value equal to 4. Low value is and this one high value is this one. Before low value is this one. So low value can be treated as this one. Okay. So now we are ignoring the first sublist. 
then we have to consider the right surface. So this is the new plan. Okay. Now consider the list 50 to 60, 70, 80. So this is index is 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is low value and this is high value. Okay. So low, low less than or equal to 5. Why? Low. Low value is 4. 4 less than or equal to 7. That is true. If the condition is true, first we have to find out mid value. So mid is equal to 4 plus 7 by 2. So that is 11 by 2, 5.5. That is 5. So mid is equal to a of 5 is equal to so 60. A of 5 is equal to 60. Okay. First condition if P value P is equal to is equal to A of mid value. So that is if P is 60 is equal to is equal to a of 5. So that is if 60 equal to equal to 60. So true. So our key element is so written mid value. So that is written 5. So Therefore, our key element, our key element found at fifth position, at fifth position. Okay. So this is the iterative binary search algorithm and its example. Problem. Okay, our key element is found at fifth position. At the fifth position, our key element is found. So here, this case is matched. If e equal to equal to a of mid, p value is sixty, a of mid, mid value is five. So a of five is nothing but sixty. Sixty equal to equal to sixty. Return mid. Mid value how much? That is five. So our key element is found at fifth position. So thank you, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Divella Srinivasa D I V V E L E S R I N I B A S K R K O. So, the well-fitting answer out. Thank you.